Now, once you've signed up to Binance, the most important thing of all, before you even start doing anything, is to confirm your personal verification and information. So you will be requested to go in identification. It will bring you to this page. From there, you will need to submit your basic information and get verified. And then you will be prompt to provide government identification and facial verification. Once you've completed those steps, you can move on to the next part of the training. I don't think that you need to withdraw $200,000 daily, so you don't need the advanced verification. All you need is the basic and the intermediate. Please move on to the next part of the training. So the first thing you should be doing when you open your Binance account, whether it's Binance US or Binance.com, is to go in security and do your settings. Now, the most important ones you need to take care of is the Google authentication. The Google authentication, you just need to go on your mobile phone in your app section and download the Google authentication tool. And then you just follow the instructions that are here. It's very simple to do. And then you wanna do the same thing for your SMS authentication. So basically you're gonna have a code that goes to your Binance, to your phone. So this will add an extra layer of security as for the email address, especially if you're going to be using money wires or electronic wires or bank transfers, call it what you want, I would suggest you use the same email that you use with your, your bank. And last but not least is the anti-pishing code. So this will add an extra layer of protection within your email messages. So every time that Binance will send you an email message, you will see your anti-pishing code on it. So this will allow you to identify that this is truly a Binance email and not some phishing fake email you're getting. So that adds another layer of security. So once you've added your Google authentication, your SMS authentication and your anti phishing code and made sure that your email address matches your bank email, then you're ready to start buying crypto. Please move on to the next part of the training. Okay, so for you to be able to buy coins, you're going to need to convert your country's fiat into one of these following coins here. But most people use USDT coins. The USDT is what we call a stable coin. It's the closest one to the US dollar. So if you want to trade one dollar for one dollar, for example, USDT is your best alternative. Now, in order to buy crypto, all you need to do is click the buy crypto tab. You could buy with credit card in some countries, not all of them. But if you cannot buy with your credit card, most of the time you could do it through P2P trading. So P2P trading is bank transfers, basically. So me personally, I'm in Canada, so I use the P2P trading. So once I click here, basically, I make sure that I'm, I, I'm in USDT. I select my country's currency. I enter the amount of money. So for example, I could want to buy $1,000 Canadian and convert it to USDTs. And the, the payment option in my case is interact transfer. It's basically a bank transfer. But again, it, this here goes with your country currency. So when you're going to select your country currency, whatever is available for you to use is going to be here. So in my case, as I said, I was using e-transfer. So here, for one USDT, I would need to pay $1.25 in this case. Now, just so you understand here, if I buy for $1,000 and the seller has over $1,000 available, then you're good to go. You can select that seller. But you'll notice here that the balance is lower. It's 404 USDTs is about $500 Canadian. So you wouldn't be able to buy USDTs from this guy in this case because he sold a lot of his inventory already. Okay, so you need to find somebody that has more than what you want to buy, obviously. So the second thing you want to check is the complete completion percentage. See, this guy doesn't complete this transaction most of the time. So that means that you're just wasting time. So you want to look for people that have above 90%. And in this case, for example, I said a thousand. So you want to make sure that, you know, there's, you can cover your $1,000 Canadian in this case and convert it to USDT. So here, this guy made 120 orders and 100% completion. So he would be somebody that is trustworthy. So 
in this case I would select this guy and go and buy my USDTs. It's as simple as that. Then you just need to follow the instructions that are here, depending on you know what selection of payment you want to work with. So buying crypto is as simple as that. Now, what makes it safe is that Binance is always going to be the intermediary between you and the person who sells you the USDTs. So this makes your transaction with them safe. You will never get scammed or lose money if you follow the proper instructions and do what I just showed you. Now again, the payment method could be different from one country to the other. The banks are different from one country to the other. But what you need to understand here is that every time you want to buy crypto, you make sure you, you first select your currency, then your method of payment, and obviously how much you want to buy in your own currency. And from there, you just need to follow the instructions. So it's as simple as that to buy crypto. And when you're going to have USDT, that's when you're going to be able to buy coins. And I'm going to show that to you in the next video. Please move on to the next part of the training.